And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Leona. Uh, Going to be trying out a new Demacia deck with some Daybreak. We got Daybreak, Demacia. So we have our Daybreak package, Leona, Raven. We're going to play a couple Zenith Blade to go along with Solari, Priestess, Shield Bearer, and Soldier. But then of course we'll have our good Demacia stuff as well. Um, so you know, we're gonna have, we have multiple good one drops, twos, threes, you know, just kind of across the board. So hopefully we're gonna be curving out pretty well. Um, Pill Cascade, it's just turning into just an amazing spell. So playing, basically we're playing Targon, we're playing units, we care about attacking, we need to be playing Pale Cascade. Of course we are a Garen deck, so we want to be able to strike um, outside of just combat, combat because Garen cares about striking. So we got Concerted Strike and Single Combat in here. And then, yeah, we're going to try a couple of Zenith Blades. This card's been, you know, hit or miss so far, but it does, it is a Daybreak card, so that does matter with Leona. And giving Garen a plus one, plus two, and Overwhelm it does seem pretty sweet, especially with Garen's regeneration. And, uh, you know, usually things that block Garen are just a little small unit, so giving Overwhelm to Garen does seem like that matters quite a bit. Um, but then also... You know, maybe giving that to like Genevieve Elmhart, and then you can challenge like multiple little things. Like that could be pretty cool. Like play Genevieve and then Zenith Blade it. All right, so let's let's try out some Garen Leona. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked like we always do, and we'll see how we do. Uh, we are going to the Garen board. I remember the Garen board is a little louder than the other boards, so I'll have to go turn that down. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing good today. Hope everyone's having a good day. Ooh, playing some spiders. It's been a minute since we played some spiders. Garen's good, but let's just mulligan them. We don't want to keep too many expensive cards. All right, Garen board louder than others. Gets turned down. Shield Bearer is a wonderful blocker. Just the best blocker in the game. On turn two. <clears throat> Doesn't mean that we're not going to be taking a lot of damage, though. Kill this Legion Saboteur. Come closer. I don't fight. Because the protege can still block the the one one spider. It is you. Yes. Uh. I should have played Leona. I played I played that so I could have Pale Cascade also on this thing. Ouch. We could use a bite. What a turn. You cannot sway me. But we're still looking good. This would make Leona three out of four. Uh, let's see. So we're challenging. We got these two. I kind of feel like it's better to wait till next turn to play Leona than play Leona this turn. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. There's nothing to fear. 
So we don't get to draw another Zenith Blade. But we do get to kill this Elise before it... No. Alright, still. We don't get to level up Elise. Yeah, Gangplank Nightfall. It was a it was an aggressive deck with Bilgewater, Shadow Isles. Um, it it played really well. Very happy with that deck. You cannot sway me, Black Heretic. Cool. We don't take any damage. So not playing a Daybreak card. Ours is the one true light. Because having to go to the single combat right away. Game's not over. <clears throat> I mean, we obviously have blockers for that. Just, we just hope they don't have decimate. Darn. Did have decimate. Wow. Impressive, impressive win for them. All right, bilge water, Demacia. Do I keep the second Garen? I guess the answer is no, but I I am going to keep the first Garen. I, I, we already have one drop, two drop. <laughs> now we have three and four. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. New recruit reporting in. This is what we call easy to play. It's pretty hard to mess this up. You just play your one mana card on turn one. The two mana card on turn two. Clad in shining sunlight. Three mana card on turn three. Oh, we have a choice. We have a choice. We could play three mana card on turn three or go soldier and bright steel protector. If we go soldier, then we have level up Leona next turn. Our protege also gets to eat the 2 2 for free. We'll go double spell. They will not escape punishment. Okay, got punished. That did not work out. Um, still go this. Punish transgressions. This is my opponent. Right, still got our six damage in. Head to the face. I'll do my best. Aha. Eat up, friend. Shield up. Bleh. Like, does it even make sense to play Leona right now? Not. Let's get Laurent Protégé in play. They have Rally? Oh, okay, they have that. That's still also pretty good. I'm glad they're using that just to kill. I mean, I'm sure, the single combat, they got good value out of it, but they killed a 2 2. Like, I, I will trade 2 2s for single combats. I will gladly make that trade. It's just, is Garen going to be safe if we play Garen? I hope so. For Demacia. Demacia needs heroes. I demand satisfaction. Hardly fair. I'm I'm ready. 
<clears throat> All right, Garen struck once. Got to get Valor out of there. I mean, the the protege is like you know better body wise and stuff, but getting Valor out of there so Valor doesn't get the extra attack for Quinn. One mana short with um, Judgment. One mana short. So it's not even like really that great of a stun because like they probably don't even want to attack with Quinn anyway. But it's not like attacking with these protégés or I mean they get to just challenge these things. Hey style unit. Okay. Run them through. So I think my plan is to play Solari Priestess. I think that's the plan. Let us attack first, and if we need judgment, we can have judgment. Not expecting to need judgment. Maybe find, like, written in stone. Oh, no. Okay, well... Maybe obliterate. Hmm. Written in stars. Stars. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So they have a Demacia card on top. We can make a little bit of inferences with that. Basically taking the warrior to be able to challenge Quinn. And have that be able to help take out Quinn. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right, get two stuns, so that takes out, takes down the two scouts, so they don't get to level up Quinn. Now we got better blockers. Should be game. You can only block two of these. They'd have to have single combat. They'd have to like be able to block these two and then single combat. All right, GGS. That was a good back and forth game. Jeez, yeah, that was a good game. Kalista. Right. I guess I just keep all this. This looks like a great hand. 
You will act second. Oh, that's demanding. You will Raise act second. Alright, time to feed Demacia. Nope, sure can't. Boom, boom. Cool. Good news, no Ravenous Butcher. Bad news is now they can have Curse or uh, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker. That's the card. Now they can have Blighted Caretaker, and they do have Blighted Caretaker. Let's go with the Shield Bearer. It's a good blocker. Not too bad. As far as how amazing Curse Keeper Blighted Caretaker combo is, we didn't. We did pretty well. As far as that combo is concerned. Now we have some beauty in the blade. And of course, the chef gets to pump up. Protégé to take down the escaped abomination. Ugh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, yuck, yuck, yuck. Feel the sizzle! Hot hmm. Because then they block with the 4-3. I use the Pale Cascade, so we trade all those. Then we have the 3-2, and they, then they have these two. And then I have three, three. I guess I have four cards. I have four cards. They have five cards. Uh, other option is just simply have my two four eat the two two. Maybe that's better. Hey, Leona. You can help out being a 3-5. Being a 3-5 in a 4-3 world. I'll help out. We have visitors. Ah, talking to the pigs. So that was not the card that Warden's Prey created. You cannot sway me. Are they playing Fury of the North? Unclear. This will not take long. Strike one. Face my shield. Try to leave it. Obviously, they're playing They Who Endure, so things are, you know, they like things dying for They Who Endure, but of course, with my deck, I mean, I need I need these things to die anyway to be able to get through. So there we go, that's what Warren's Break created. We are going to need to try to win the game. Ooh, me and I was definitely going to play Genevieve Elmhart, but then we drew Garen. Uh, Genevieve Elmhart was going to heal these.
But of course, I really want to level up Garen. I want to level up Garen as fast as possible. So we're playing Garen first. That didn't work out. There we go. Stalking Shadows is so great. Maybe they missed? I don't even think it's possible for them to miss. So it's better to play... It's better to play Genevieve Elmhart. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to play Genevieve Um, You know, but, like, we don't get the Daybreak with the Zenith Blade right now, which obviously we would want. So, like, I'm not going to play the Zenith Blade now. So plan is... Okay, they don't want to help Garen level up. So plan is challenge. Now Zenith Blade. Thirteen. We can deal with that. A shield for allies, a sword for enemies. I am the bulwark against darkness. Deal one, I guess. So yeah, we go Pale Cascade here. I don't think they'll have like Callista Black Spear. Basically, the question is, do I attack with anything else? And the answer is no. Come on, get some They Who Endures. Hopefully they toss two They Who Endures. Yuck. Zero They Who Endure. Choo choo. No, they have another one. <sighs> well, I guess we get to stun. Actually, this is going to work out just fine. Yeah, we just done this. And now we give this Genevieve Overwhelm. This is pretty sweet. Well, this thing's having Overwhelm. Good job, Zenith Blade. Out of ten. Challenge. 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 And they're looking pretty dead. Pretty dead indeed. Pretty dead indeed. Two and one. Here we go against 
Lulu. I played against Lulu in a little bit. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty dead. Another strong hand. And we're just keeping our hand. That Zenith Blade was key. I just curve out. Clad in shining sunlight. Devotion to battle. Gonna keep curving out, keep attacking. Do our thing. Wow, no two drop. No war shafts or young witch or nothing. definitely see <clears throat> you know they probably have a protection spell for Lulu you know maybe like Rangers Resolve or oh single combat all right I will take that single combat um, you know not killing my challenger for Lulu probably want to do barrier pale cascade just Zenith blade by itself is just kind of eh. They obviously can have Whimsy. That'd be bad. Yay. Wow, nothing. Wasn't expecting nothing. Nothing at all, GG's. I'm not, I'm not saying that we will get back to back four ones. I'm saying, can we get back to back four ones? I'm not trying to jinx it. Uh, where's the two mana card? Do I just keep this and keep all the daybreak cards? Like, Priestess is a real small body. But no, no. <clears throat> there we go. I like this better. Because you know, we want to play Soldier, then Tracker, but we have to play Tracker, then Soldier for those. That's good. Yeah, Priestess isn't great. I mean, we only have two Priestess in here. Uh, basically because of Leona, because we just need, you know, some more Daybreak cards. But no, the 1-2 one two, the one two body is pretty rough. Yeah, let's go. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. That's been a pretty fast stream today. I did, I did start earlier. You know, I kind of, I really started on time more than a lot of times I've been starting late. Guns blazing. All three of our decks are pretty fast we've played so far. No mercy for heretics. Love ya. Eyes bigger. Sunwet. Warriors in. Of course we're gonna be going and challenging this misfortune. We're down a card right now. But if this works, and we get to just kill the Misfortune for free with the barrier, then we'll be back to even of like 5 and 5. 
I don't necessarily mind that trade, but I guess I don't really see a reason to force that trade. That was kind of the reason, though, to, to force the trade, I suppose, is that they don't get the free attack with the Cloud Field. But, of course, the 3-2 does block Misfortune very well. For the glory of Go ahead, attack. Go ahead, bring it. Bring it. Or not. So basically I was thinking there's not really a reason to play the Leona first, but then I realized, well, we want we want to make sure that those are the Daybreak cards and, you know, we want to be able to play Pale Cascade. We get our Daybreak. They're going to have, like, something that does one damage to my Garen. I sure hope not, but I guess this is still just the best thing. So it makes sense they don't even want to... Risk there, Genevieve Elmhart dying. These woods belong to us. All right, so I'm gonna play the new Leona and stun the Elmheart, right? Because we don't want—we really don't want this Elmheart challenging our stuff. It's only the first attack with Misfortune. But I really, arguably, maybe I should have played the Pale Cascade on the tracker to kill the Misfortune before. But of course, I wanted to keep trying to protect Garen. Robin would be a good card for us to find. It's like repost. Hope not. Well, that's even worse. Draw another one. Darn. Love ya. I guess another one would have yeah, another one would have mattered. Come on, Robin. Here we go, Robin. Garen. All right, so we want to play Daybreak card first. Hey, Juju says I watched the Fizz Diana loses from yesterday's stream on YouTube. Very cool games. The deck seemed to work good. Yeah, it did. Those were some really cool games with that. Bertrand, still alive, I see. Despite Beaver's best efforts. Karen's good, but it's the wrong five drop. If we would have had Raven here, then we could have gone Raven and you know stun something. Solari Shield Bear stun something. Zenith Blade stun something. Maybe the Raven would have made the one drop also stun something. Like, you know, it's Probably lethal at that point. Blessings from the sun.
So I kind of have to get rid of my tracker so they don't get the free challenge on the tracker. Tracker is like the worst card for us to draw. That was our worst card to draw. Wow. I think I'm going to play this after the scout attacks. That was the correct challenge with the Garen. I was hoping they were going to do the 3 2. Daylight is unrelenting, but not eternal. Levels up misfortune? I don't think that was three, but yeah, I guess that is four. Oh, that means we're dead. Let's see, because we have to throw at least these in front. That puts us to one. All right, down to one. Well, they're saying GG's. So does that mean... That mean they have a spell that does one damage? While the planet's alive. So do I need to just throw Chase away this to gain four life? No. I think I forced them to have a spell that has one damage. <laughs> They don't get to attack again. They've already attacked twice. Okay. So they had a spell that dealt one damage. GG's. Hey, Doggo Wisdom. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. From Doggo Wisdom's stream. Just missed Garen Leona. That was the deck that we just finished up with right whenever y'all joined. It was pretty strong, pretty strong deck. We got to curve out uh, very well all the time with having two great one drops. And then of course, multiple very good two drops, multiple three drops. Like we were just always curving out with this deck. Um, uh, Garen was awesome at the top end. Garen plus Zenith Blade looked really good of granting um, Garen Overwhelm. Cause of course, People just want to just put little blockers in front of Garen, and so you really want to have that overwhelm with that. So that did look really good. Um, didn't get our Robin ever. We never played a Robin, and that last game we needed a Robin. A Robin would have won us the game for the last couple of turns, but didn't get one. Um, yeah. But there we go. All right, so that's Garen Leona. Definitely felt pretty strong. Oh, I think I, I just added that to the win column, even though we just lost that game. So it should be three and two is what we finished up with. Garen Fior, there we go. Um, yeah, maybe boot the Solari Priestess for triple Zenith Blade. I could see that. Solari Priestess, I mean, the, the Celestial card, of course, is good, but just the, the body that Solari Priestess has is just so small and just inconsequential, just doesn't matter. I, I'm basically playing Solari Priestess because of Leona. Um, but I could see a third Zenith Blade, honestly. The Zenith Blade did was pretty good. I thought about Mentor the Stones for this deck instead of Priestess. You know, creating gems that go along with Zenith Blade or go along with Challengers. And of course, the plus two, plus two is very good with Challengers. Um, and can help, you know, like think about giving Garen like even another plus two, plus two. That could be awesome. But then obviously things like Protégé and Flea Feather Tracker 
are awesome with that too. Maybe you could do that. Maybe that'd be better than Solari Priestess. Um, maybe, I mean, that's the thing about Solari Priestess is, is it's like an out to the really large units because you can, you can be able to play this and get like the six mana obliterate card. Um, you know, you can get like that card, but, but still it's just a one, two and that body doesn't matter. I guess this is a one, one, but this, this is kind of like a three, three between two bodies. And then also creates three cards in hand that are good cards. Or you could just go second Bright Steel. Yep, that's another option. Could just go second Bright Steel. Protector, that's also a strong card. I don't know. I don't know what to do with like that this slot here. That's that's probably the the cards that I'm the least sure about are the two Solari Priestess. I kinda like everything else. Um, but those are those are some other options if you want to try out different things. Instead of Solari Priestess, probably Bright Steel Protector, Mentor of the Stones, another Zenith Blade. Those are probably the best options. Alright, but that's it here for Garen Leona. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave all those comments. Let me know what you what you would do for that slot. Um, you know, or anything else about the deck. I'd appreciate it. Alright, thanks for so much for watching though, and I'll see you for the next video.